There is an exodus to Egypt from Gaza beginning. U.S. pressure has finally resulted in the gate from Gaza to Egypt to be unlocked for some 74 Americans as of today and other foreign nationals soon, including former Chicago and Emily Rauschenberger, her husband and their five children, a family the I-team first talked with last month as their exit was just a plan and a hope. The nights are terrifying because you, you just hear bombing. Uh, and you sometimes very close and sometimes far in the distance, but you really don't know what the targets are or what will happen. Since October 7th here in Gaza, their lives on hold and their destiny on the run. Emily Rauschenberger, a former Chicagoan, her husband from the UK and their five children witnessing the hardships and heartbreak of war by day and dodging bombs by night. The family trying to time their arrival here at the Rafah crossing into Egypt until they would be certain to pass. We don't go until we have word that it might, that might be open because it's a dangerous and Dangerous journey. According to her father, today was that day. The border pass opened for them, all seven now safely in a Cairo hotel, he says. They had come to Gaza to visit family. So had this American, Susan Basaiso, also allowed to leave today into Egypt. Right now I'm between ice and fire. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to see the family that I left behind. Two American doctors volunteering in Gaza among the first to leave yesterday, Ramona Okamura and Barbara Zind, the 68-year-old Zind from Colorado, describing the conditions facing those she left behind. They really have no, no water, no electricity, you know, are living on barely anything. All of them leave a region in ruins, this senior Hamas official today. Hundreds of people were killed because of this targeting. The number of the victims is increasing day after day and moment after moment. Gaza will remain a thorn in the throat of the occupation and we will continue to fight against the occupation. Israeli defense officials dispute war crimes or intentional attacks on Palestinian civilians. But tonight, Israeli commanders do say they have Gaza City surrounded and will continue attacking military positions until Hamas is eradicated. So far, the Gaza and West Bank death total is more than 9,200, with 25,000 people wounded, according to Hamas and Palestinian health authorities. In Israel, officials say 1,400 are dead, almost 5,000 wounded. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.